Hello, welcome to day 10 of my video journal. And um, right, so what happened today? So today, woke up bright and early, 6 a.m. in Cambridge, finished off my presentation before heading over to Sanctonwood School. So first of all, I'd like to thank the head teacher there and all of the staff for having me to come in again. Um, I went and talked to the students when they did their career day back in October, and then the headmaster asked me to come back and actually speak to the parents this morning to talk about AI in education and some of the things that, you know, that they were worried about and questions that they had about how AI was potentially going to impact their kids and, and their progression through their education and how they could use AI and what they needed to look out for and their job prospects and all that sort of stuff. Massive amount of information to try and distill into an hour, especially at half eight in the morning. But we had a fantastic conversation. There's loads of amazing parents there that are very, very engaged. And I think it was great. And they seemed to really enjoy the session. And the headmaster really liked it and, and said he'd like me to come back and do some more stuff with the staff themselves. So that was really great. Great start to the day. The sun was out. It was nice and brisk, but the weather was good. I've moved on from the <laughs> the bad news I had yesterday, so decided I let myself wallow in that a little bit, and now it's time to move on and crack on onwards and upwards. So after, <clears throat> excuse me, after the session in the morning, I just went and had a quick coffee and then hopped on a train to London where I met with another friend of mine and we did a planning session this afternoon around what we want to do maybe with doing some more AI training bits and pieces and what we want to do with the podcasts and he may actually host one of the podcasts that's coming up so education with AI we'll see it's still early days but I think he's I think he's on board to do that so we're just trying to get some plans in place to do that and that was really positive and then just popped into the pub don't worry the people that know about my diet I didn't ruin my diet I just had a diet coke which strictly isn't on the diet but I had to have something and I couldn't sit in a pub with everybody else and drink water because that's just wrong. So I did have a Diet Coke, but it's OK. Zero calories, no sugar, no anything, just a few preservatives. So I'll probably be OK. Other than that, I mean, really, that was pretty much it for the day. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into some of the planning bits and pieces that uh, Nadio and I talked about this afternoon. You'll probably hear more about that as we move forward and some of those plans come to fruition. So I'll talk about those as as we actually start to roll them out. But I think there's some pretty exciting stuff coming. And yeah, I think it's a pretty quick one today. What is that? That's like three minutes. Surely I've got something else to talk about. I can't really think of much. I'm in a good mood. It's not too late. Well, it's 1030. So it's pretty late in the evening. Oh, I guess we can talk about the lights. Um, obviously, I'm back home and I've changed my lighting setup yet again because I'm still not happy with the way the lights work. I think the banding issues that I had were related to the fact that it was very, very dark in here and there wasn't enough light. And I think what was happening is it was the eye control, the shutter speed and the um, aperture but I let it do the automatic ISO by itself. And when I actually looked at it, it was recording at like 12,000 ISO or something like that. So, and that's when we were getting the banding. And so I don't, I think what was happening is there just wasn't enough light. And so that high, it just was really struggling to record anything. I've added a lot more light in the room. I still have my monitor softbox here, um, which is right next to me here. And I have a ring light, but what I've done is, is I've turned the ring light around so it's now actually bouncing off the wall instead of shining directly on my head and making me have a shiny forehead. And it feels like, whoa, sorry, I don't know what I had done product thing. So if I put my hand up, it's, uh, see now it's, ah, there it goes. So yeah, it takes a second. Um, so yeah, I think turning the ring light around and then I've added, there's a lamp on the floor back behind me, which is lighting the wall. 
I think it actually works quite well. What I might try and do tomorrow is I might try, I might try these lights in front of me with some of the LED lights in the back to add a little bit of color and maybe darken it in the back, but I don't know if that's going to work or not, but maybe we'll try it. But this seems, looking at it on my laptop monitor, this, the, the picture seems to be really good. So maybe we might have a good solution that works better, at least in the meantime, until I can do something else. So anyway, um, that was the other thing I really wanted to mention. And right, I think that's it for today. So if anybody's watching out there, thank you for watching and stick with me and hopefully I'll say something interesting someday. Anyway, until then, have a good night. See you later. Bye-bye.